In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to start selling on Amazon as a beginner and all of this will happen under 15 minutes. I myself have been selling on Amazon for almost two years, so I definitely know what I'm talking about. And at the end of this video, I'll also be showing you a realistic breakdown of how to make £10,000 per month on Amazon. The first thing you need to do before even opening an Amazon account is figure out which method you want to start selling on Amazon with. There are three methods. The first method is retail slash online arbitrage. And this is where you simply go to your local retail stores or local retail store websites and simply find products at a lower price which you can sell on Amazon at a higher price and make a profit. The second method is Amazon Wholesale or Wholesale Amazon which is where you simply get a product in bulk from a wholesaler and then you sell on Amazon. And method number three is private label. This is where you're going to source a product from Alibaba or China and then you're going to create your own listing which you have to optimize in order for your listing to show up on the first page of Amazon. And obviously all these methods have their own advantages and disadvantages and I've shared more detail about each of these methods in this video right here, which you can go watch after this video. Once you've selected your method, then it's time to open a professional Amazon FBA seller account, which you can see on the screen right now. It can take up to a week or sometimes even two weeks for you to be verified, where you simply have to go on a video call with the Amazon employee and simply show them your ID because they just want to see that the person opening the account is the person who's actually going to be using the account. Now that your account has been approved, this is how your dashboard will look. It will have simply your marketplace orders, total sales, and you can simply go through your dashboard and you will know what it means. Now, in order to start selling on Amazon, you will need to add the product into your inventory. And this can be simply done by going to catalog and then press on add products. If you have decided to use the private label method, then you will need to click on I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon and create a brand new listing. Now, this here requires a lot of good keyword research as well as good SEO in order to optimize your listing. I sell on Amazon using the wholesale and arbitrage arbitrage method, which means I can use existing listing on Amazon and simply jump on those listing and start selling instantly. And that's the great thing about Amazon wholesale and arbitrage. And I'll show you how you do that right now. But just before I show you that most people get confused between how do you figure out a private label listing and how do you figure out a wholesale listing? Now, there are two main things you need to check in a listing to figure out whether that's a private label listing or a wholesale listing. The first thing is the number of sellers. If a listing has less than two sellers, then that's definitely going to be a private label listing. And if a listing has more than three, or four sellers, then it's definitely going to be a wholesale listing. The second way to figure out is the product you're looking on Amazon. You should not be able to find that product with the exact same branding with any wholesalers on Google. So that's how you simply figure out the difference between private label and wholesale. Now, before you go ahead and add a product to your inventory, you need to do something called product research. And one method which you can use is by simply going on Amazon itself, which I will do right now, and go to their best sellers. And once you're there, you simply need to choose a category, for example, garden and outdoor. And then you need to go to subcategories such as garden tools and watering equipment. And from here, you're simply going to look for listings or products, which one does not have Amazon and can actually make you profit. Now to find profitable products, you need to do something called product analysis. And in this video, I have shown in detail how to actually do your product analysis, which again, you can go watch after the video. The better profits you will find, the easier it will be for you to hit that 10,000 pound mark, which once again, I will show you right at the end of the video, a breakdown on how you can achieve that as well. Once you have done your product research and you managed to find a profitable product, then it's time to source the product, which simply means you need to find a supplier for that product. And the cheapest supplier will give you the most profit. Obviously, the way you do this is by simply going on Google and type in the brand name of the product. So for example, if it's Red Bull, then you're going to go on Google, type in Red Bull wholesalers UK or wholesalers near me. And on Google, it will give you a list. For example, I'll just show you. I'll simply type in Red Bull wholesalers UK. And once I type that in, as you can see, I will get all wholesalers selling Red Bull drink in wholesale prices. Now I have to simply go through as many wholesalers as I can and whoever provides me the cheapest price, I will go ahead and buy the product through that wholesaler. And the most challenging part in Amazon is actually finding a profitable wholesaler because this is not easy. It looks easy, but you have to keep going through pages upon pages for example if there's around i don't know if this listing has around 10 pages as you can see 
then you need to go through each and every page until you find something profitable. So that's one challenge you have to overcome. Okay, now before I show you guys the next important steps, let me quickly tell you guys about a software which will make your Amazon accounting so much easier. It is called Awesome and they specialize in e-commerce accounting such as Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, eBay, and everything online. They have a very easy to use platform where you can simply upload your receipt and invoices and they can take care of your bookkeeping and taxes. They will also provide reports so you can see how well your business is performing and basically take away all the hassle of your accounting so you can focus on building your Amazon FBA business. And you can actually register your limited company through them for only one pound and get two months worth of accounting for free. You can use the link in the description to get started today. Now moving on to the next step, which is that once you have found your product and you know it's profitable and you manage to source it, it's actually time to add it to your inventory. So let me show you how you can add a product to your inventory. You can simply go ahead and find a product. Um, I'm gonna take wash for example. So once you know which product you wanna add to your inventory, you simply need to scroll scroll down and go to this product information and find the ASIN which is right here as you can see you're going to copy the ASIN and then go on Amazon and simply paste it now this ASIN which I'm pasting is for another product like as you can see and then I will simply need to select the condition of the product which is new and press sell this product then it will go to the next page where I have to simply fill in few details, which is the price. So the lowest price on this listing is 555. So I'm just going to do 555. Then I'm going to select the condition as new. And here's the important part because I only do Amazon FBA and not FBM. I'll select Amazon will dispatch and provide customer service. And then you simply go save and finish. And there you go. That's literally the, actually one more part, which is you simply select Amazon's barcode. Once you press save and finish, you will go to the next page and that has been added to your inventory. So now once you're on this page right here, you can simply go and manage inventory through this. And in 15 minutes, the product will load up. So right now these two products have been added, but the product which I've just added will show up in 15 minutes. So that's how easy it is to add an existing listing, which is already on Amazon to your inventory. Whereas for private label, you will literally have to once again, create a listing which can take ages. And right now, I'm trying to create a new listing for my private label product and it's taking me ages as well. So now that your product is in inventory and the product you ordered from your supplier has come to your house. Now, obviously you can get the supplier to send the product directly to Amazon, but I don't recommend it because I always like to inspect it myself once it's here as well as stick the label, the Amazon labels on it manually, because if you ask Amazon to do it or your supplier, they will charge you an amount which can obviously make your profits lower. So once the product has come to your house or your office, then it's time to create a shipping plan, which can be done by simply going to your inventory and then going onto the listing. And here, right here next to the edit dropdown, there is something called, there's something called send and replenish inventory. Once you click on that, it will show you few steps which you need to complete. So the first thing you need to add here is the prep and labeling details. So you simply need to choose no prep needed. If the product needs any type of prep, it will actually tell you you need to bubble wrap it or this and that. So you don't need to worry about that. And as you can see here, it says who labels units and it will be seller because you will be labeling it. If you want Amazon to do it, they will charge you 15 P per unit, which once again is obviously ideal if you have a lot of profit in your product. Once you have selected that, then it's time to add the number of units you want to send to Amazon. So if I'm sending 100, I'm sorry, 10, I'm just going to put 10 and then I'm going to print the labels. So these labels can be printed in any of these templates. Uh, you can select 27 labels, A4 sheet, which if you just simply press on print all, right, it will download this template and you can go buy this template of 27 labels from Amazon and print it using any label. I mean, any printer. You don't have to worry about having a specific type of printer. You can simply just use the one you have at your home right now. And once printed, you peel it off individually and stick it on each product individually. And then you put all products in one box or maybe multiple boxes if they don't fit in one box. And then you can continue to the next step, which is by simply pressing on pack individual units and then you're going to select everything into one box if you have one box if you have multiple boxes then you obviously you select the second option in the dimension you can put 10 10 10 or whatever the dimensions are i'm just doing it for this example then you simply go to the next step which is going to be confirming your shipping as well as checking your uh, cost for the shipping today is friday so i'm going to select on monday because ups which is a partnered carrier with amazon they do not work 
on the weekends. So as you can see, it will cost me £2.94 pence in order for me to send this product to Amazon, which is really cheap as if I was to send this using another provider like Royal Mail in the UK, it will cost me a lot. But anyway, once I've done that, I can simply press on agree and accept charges. Now, once I've accept, accepted the charges, it will tell me to print a box label. So as you can see, it says to print. Now always print this one, 99.1 by 139 mm, because it gives you this layout, which once again is two labels in an A4 sheet. And you can also get this from Amazon. You can simply write in two labels, A4 sheet, and you are able to buy it. Print this, and then you're gonna be sticking both these labels on the side of the box. And then you're gonna be doing the final step, which is scheduling this shipment to be collected by UPS. And you can simply do that by clicking on view tracking details and under view tracking details, you'll get the tracking ID. You need to take this tracking ID or if you have multiple tracking IDs, you take all multiple tracking IDs, go to UPS, schedule a parcel collection. You can go on the website or simply click on schedule a parcel collection and you can fill in this, right? It's super easy. You can simply put in your tracking ID right here. If you have multiple tracking IDs, you simply need to put a comma before you put the next one. And then you can put in everything which has this asterisk. So simply put in your name, your address, and how many packages are you sending? And then you can select which day UPS can come collect it. Once the shipping has been taken, Amazon and UPS will do all the distribution between all the distribution centers Amazon has, as well as take care of all the customer service and everything for you. As I promised in the start of the video that I will tell you guys how you can realistically achieve 10,000 pounds per month on Amazon. So the way you're gonna be doing this is by simply first dividing the 10,000 pound into 30 days. And if you do that, it will come down to 333 pounds and 33 pence every single day. Day. Now, even achieving 300 pounds in a day is a big deal. But here's the thing. If you simply find 10 products, right? Simply 10 products and each product sells three times a day at 10 pounds profit or just 10 pounds in sales, then that will simply achieve your 10,000 pound goals per month. And this is definitely doable, but yes, it does take time and it does take a lot of effort. You can't simply sit on on, on a product research uh, platform or just be doing product research and in one day you're going to find all these 10 products. It could take you a month, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe even a year depending on how much time and effort you're actually putting in. If you go ahead and watch this video right here which is in much more detail as it's almost a 30 minute course which will give you exactly everything in detail on how to do your product research, what methods you can do use to do your analysis and what methods you can use to do your product research as there are multiple methods and all the things so basically go watch that video and I'll see you there.